Welcome to your next edition of Highlights, some trading and investing strategies you could use in all markets and all time frames. So we're going to look at one of my uh, favorite uh, techniques. It's actually based on a Western strategy. And the idea is that once the market breaks above resistance, it's up to the bulls to keep the new highs in place. Uh, and if the old resistance fails to hold, in other words, gets back, the market gets back below the old resistance area, I nickname this falling off the roof. And uh, the reason I call it that is because there's a Japanese saying that goes, let him climb the, the roof and then take away the ladder. And by the way, it's a resistance area for this strategy to be valid. That has to be tested at least two times. So you can see one, two. And once the market breaks under this old resistance area, uh, then you have a target based on the recent low of the move. So you could either be thinking about selling it here either as a potential short position or to get out of longs. And by the way, if the market indeed is weak, uh, it should not really get above the highs that it made up here, especially on a closing basis. So let's look at an example of this. So here, uh, for those of you who follow our daily strategies, our members of MyCandleTrots.com, you know one of the things I like looking at are dual moving averages. Okay, and here we have the shorter term moving average. It's a 20 day moving average. And here's a 50 day moving average. And when the short term is under long term moving average, the Japanese call that a dead cross. And when the short term is above the long term moving average, uh, the Japanese call that a golden cross. And it doesn't specifically have to be a 20 or 50 day, but any short term moving average, either above or below the longer term moving average, is either called a golden cross, as here, or a dead cross. So. Here we have the longer term trend is down, which means ideally if you're looking to place positions, you should be going more aggressively on the bear side. Now let's look at uh, these lines here. So here we have a resistance area tested twice. And notice how the market got above it. And during the session, it got back below. And this, by the way, can work in any time frame, intraday, daily, weekly. We just happen to have a daily chart here. Uh, once it got below here, you can think about selling it. And the target is the most recent low, assuming it's a short position. But let's say you're long. Let's say you're long on this bullish engulfing pattern because it's confirming a support area down here. Uh, once this happens, you should really be thinking about exiting or taking profits in the long position. But if you're in a new short position, your target is the recent low, which was hit ov over here. And as I mentioned, the market really should not get above the high made on this falling off the roof. Let's look at another example here. And that's the falling off the roof, by the way, in the red arrow. Uh, and here's your target. So here we have another falling off the roof. And what I'll do sometimes is make a resistance zone. So you can see we're using that prior resistance here and over here. And so this is a zone. So the market got above that resistance zone. And once it got back below that resistance zone over here, even on an intraday basis, one should think about being uh, bearish. Here's that uh, falling off the roof. And the target is the most recent low, which in this case is down here. All right. And I probably would have, if I was short from here, I probably would have taken profits on this doji here because that was so close to the support area. And the doji is telling us the prior trend is running out of steam. Uh, but for those who, who stayed in the position with the idea that the falling window here is strong resistance. So even if the market does bounce back, you have a nice potential profit. Uh, you know, you would have you could have stayed to here on this session and exited at the actual target. Interestingly, here also notice this falling off the roof. This dark, uh, this black real body. It got here's a falling window, and notice it did get above the falling window, but didn't close above it. That's why ideally, if you can, I like waiting for a close above a falling window to confirm a break of resistance. The problem is by the time you wait for a close, you know, the market could, market could be all the way up here. So it is a little riskier. But this, this is a nice example of uh, falling off the roof. Uh, it breaks above resistance, can't hold it. You get to a target. And this is a good time to, as I mentioned, either lock in profits or initiate a new short position. And by the way, uh, that blue arrow is that falling window that I just discussed. Okay, I just wanted to give you a, sorry, a heads up. Uh,
go to the slink as soon as you can. What we're doing for the next day, it's going to end actually Sunday, uh, is going to give you 20% off all our products and services, including our very popular brand new small group coaching. And that's where we take uh, 10 uh, students or less and give them uh, small group coaching and our very popular Nissan Candlestick uh, software, a Nissan Candle Scanner that, as I just mentioned, it's going to end Sunday, March 26th, and this is valid on new orders. So thanks for joining me, and I hope you found this very valuable information. Look forward to working with you again.